Hi, in this video, we'll see how to fix the LDIVAS2 failed to connect to the servers. So, we'll see how we can fix it. So, if you are encountering a failed to connect to server error in the LDIVAS2, it can be quite, quite frustrating, especially when you are eager to jump into the game's cooperative action. Unfortunately, we are here to help you to get out of this mess. Okay, so let's see how to fix the LDIVAS2 failed to connect to the server. The first method is restart the Helldivers 2. Some of the simple fix what you can do for the Helldivers 2, whether it can be for the PlayStation 5 or for the PC, you can restart the game. So close the Helldivers 2 application, restart the game and restart the console, which is an option. Okay, suppose <clears throat> two. Okay, suppose when you are opening the Helldivers 2 application, what you can do is like you can just close the complete game or the application then and again you can restart the game. So again you can restart the game then finally you can restart the console which is a completely an option. That is for the PlayStation 5. For the PC or for the Steam, exit the Helldivers 2. You can completely exit you can just completely close or exit the held device too and then again you can restart the game and then finally you can restart the computer which is optional so what you can do is like you can just go to this start and then just click on this power button and then you can click on restart okay so that is the way of restarting the if you are using for the PC or Steam. The second method is check your internet connection. Make sure that you have a proper internet connection with very good speed and a very good bandwidth. Suppose if you want to check the speed of your internet from the website means you can just go to the website fast.com. Here you can see the speed of your internet. Suppose if you feel your speed of your internet is low, try to reset your router of the modem what you can do is like suppose if this is your router what you can do is you can just just restart there will be a button behind this particular router or the modem you can just click on the restart button it will restart but still if you are facing the issue you can contact the support team or further assistance they are the expertise they will help you to fix the problem and they give you the better solution the third method is disable the crossplay in the hell device too with the game features or crossplay disabling it might help to resolve the server connection issues this can be done from the game's options or the settings window disabling the crossplay ensures that you are only connecting to servers for a specific platform which can sometimes be more steep so what you can do is that you can just pause the game and enter the options tab select the gameplay find the crossplay option toggle the crossplay off save your changes the fourth method is verify the held device to game files. If you are playing on the PC, verifying the integrity of the game files through the platform you are using, like a Steam, can help you to fix any corrupted files that might be causing the connection issues. For Steam, launch the Steam client on your PC, go to the library, click on the library tab on the top of the Steam window to view the list of the games. Right click on the held device 2 in your game list and then right click on it. Properties. Select properties from the context menu that appears local files tab. The properties window, click on the local files tab. Verify integrity of the game files, click on the verify integrity of the game files button. Steam will then check the game's files and download any missing or the corrupted files. For the PlayStation 5, go to the home screen, press the options button, check for an update, follow the on screen instructions. The fifth method is disable the firewall and the antivirus. So whenever you are trying to use the Helldivers 2 game or the application, you can try to disable your firewall and the antivirus. Okay, so <clears throat> the reason is that these kind of firewall and the antivirus treat your gaming application as a spam or a malicious and they will not allow you to connect to the internet. Okay, so try to disable your firewall as well as the antivirus. Suppose if you are using any kind of antivirus like a McAfee or a Norton antivirus or any kind of Kaspersky, 
So try to disable the antivirus which is installed on your system. Okay, so otherwise you can just whitelist in the particular application whenever you are trying to use it. So open the Windows Security type Windows Security in the start menu and search and open it. So Windows Security. So you can just open this Windows Security and then Virus and Threat Protection. Click on Virus and Threat Protection Manage Settings. Under the virus and threat protection settings, click on manage settings, turn off the real time protection, toggle the real time protection option to home 14. Need to confirm this action as an administrator. So you can just go to the Windows Security tab and then click on virus and threat protection. <clears throat> so once you go to the virus and threat protection, it will Take you to the manage settings under the virus center. Click on manage settings. Turn off the real time protection. Six melodies contact support of the held device team. If you have tried all other troubleshooting methods, but still, if you are facing the problem, you can go to the held device support team. This is the website playstation.com slash en hyphen us slash support slash games slash held device two hyphen support. You can go to the support team for the assistance. So here you can. Click on the support team, contact the PlayStation support team. Then you can raise the ticket or the issue. And then finally, you can attach the supported file or the screenshot. The backend technical team, they will get back to you and they will help you to fix the problem and they give you the better solution. Okay, so that's all about this. Thank you.